And I said to myself, Wesley Snyder had to join this team. Wesley Snyder from Galatasaray, a sick Dutch player, is joining our team. I'm really looking forward to have him in the squad next season. 15% off, yes guys, 15% using the code Jani on FIFACoinZone.com. The link is in the description below. Get some coins for team of the season. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me, Jani Sports, and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. If any of you guys have watched my Twitch stream, you guys would know that somehow when I went online, which I normally never do, I got so many Scout to Future Star gifts from you guys. I don't know who did that, but now we have a Scout to Future Star involved in this career mode. So we have one Scout sent out looking for a sick player who will hopefully join in in the future. But now let's talk about this team. Milan currently with 55 points, Juventus on 46 points. So we have a nice gap between us, 9 points that is. But today we have some sick games at first. We have to play against AS Roma in the league, then Schalke in the Champions League, and then Napoli in the league as well. So we have to play against two top five teams of the Serie A in one episode. And I'm really looking forward to that. Starting off today, we have AS Roma. And you guys could see right before this match that we, we got Pastore back from his injury. And he's now in the starting lineup once again, which I really like to see because he is one of the highest rated players in our team. And hopefully he'll be able to move our team forward a little bit better than the other guys that had to replace him during the last few episodes. Before we start off with this match, guys, I would appreciate it a lot if you could smash that like button. That would be amazing. Let's get over 1,200 likes once again. And AC Milan starts off with this attack of AS Roma, actually. So we had to go ahead and defend properly. Now, Douglas Costa with really nice skill. Gets past the defender, has a lot of space. Is looking for his teammates, finds no one. Cuts inside himself, takes the shot. But that one was just not hitting the target. That would have been a great goal. And then I'm making the stupid mistake once again. AS Roma on the attack. And they were able to take that shot on target. Diego Lopez got to it. And I don't know how the second shot didn't go in. Now their defense is making a mistake. Douglas Costa again with the skills. Getting past the players. Roberto Firmino on the ball. Pastore back from his injury. Tried his long shot abilities. And, and we could see they are not bad. But they are not great as well hopefully we'll be able to score a goal now because AS Roma is definitely a team that is really difficult to play against so we have to score one in order to have a nice cushion between us and them now though it was time for Mastor and Jorginho to join into the game and Jorginho will do something special. Hashim Mastor with the pass over to Jorginho and it actually goes in but no it doesn't what what just happened what just happened? Guys, that, I swear to God, I thought that was a definite goal. But take a look at this. It was so freaking close. Like, seriously, it was just so, so close. But still, it didn't go in. Like, uh, the full, the, oh, the whole of the ball didn't go in. And that's the reason why we were not getting that goal. And then Benteke scored a goal, but it was offside, so we are still in this game. 82nd minute, it is Pjanic on the ball with another cross inside. But this time, Diego Lopez getting to it in an amazing fashion, I have to say. Janet Atkin applauding him for that. Now, we do get a sick counter-attack started with Jorginho passing it over to Niang. What? No! Come on! That should have been the first goal of this match. Now we are in the 90th minute. Another mistake of the AS Roma defense. And by Niang, now with the pace. Come on! Find someone! Pass it! He does find Hashim Mastur! It's 1-0 in the 90th minute. The young talent is scoring once again. The only time I can remember him scoring is the 90th minute. He's always stepping up when we need him. He actually only scored like three or four goals this season. But whenever he scored, it was a goal that got us at least one point. And that is the win against AS Roma. So I was really happy with this team. Keita Deng 
was Deng? <laughs> Keita Den was coming up and saying, hey, mate, I'm not happy with the role I have in this cup, which I can understand because he is higher rated than El Sharavi, so he wants more playing time. But currently, I can't give it to him because El Sharavi is in the top 10 of the top scoring list. He's doing so fine and there is no way I'm putting him onto the bench. Keita will always be a reserves player who can go ahead and show his uh, potential, so to say, in those matches. Now we had to play against Schalke 04 and this game was so important for me. I really wanted to get past them in this away game because if we win this away game, we will have a big advantage at home. But at first, our attack was stopped by an injury of Huntelaar. He's now gone and he will also not be back for the game at home. So he's gone for a long time. We won't see him anymore in this season at AC Milan or better said as our opponent. But now in the 23rd minute, we are starting our first proper attack. Douglas Costa is looking for Aubameyang. He finds him. Fake shot. And then the weak foot to put it onto the right hand side. And that is 1-0 for AC Milan. And that is exactly what I wanted. I need this advantage against Schalke. So that maybe in the next match we can just go ahead and play the reserves team against them. So that everyone is happy in this team. Just like uh, Baldediao Keita was demanding. But... We wouldn't stop right there. Balde Diao Keita was actually playing in this game because El Shadavi was on low stamina. He steps up and scores a goal when he is in the starting lineup. So that is exactly the way I need him to perform in order to go ahead and convince me to play him over El Shadavi. But boys... The happiness didn't go for too long. Schalke getting a shot onto the post. Draxler there to pick it up. And it's 2-1. They are still in this game. It was only the 33rd minute as they scored. Now right before halftime, a crucial moment. It was Kevin Prince Boateng with the cross inside. And Leroy Sané, the youngster, actually scores a header against me. I could not believe this. How were my defenders not able to defend against such a low-rated player? I will still never understand that. El Shalavi and Yang joining in in order to get that third goal, that really important third goal against Schalke. Starting off on the left-hand side, it is El Shalavi now on the ball. He will cross it inside. It is Mbai Yang to pick it up. And it's 3-2 for AC Milan in this away match and what a game this has been it is only the 51st minute and there have already been five goals in this match and that's just insane a call a call a goal per 10 minutes of this match but now in the 55th minute it was far fun with the pass to kevin prince kevin prince over to draxler who tried his luck with a first touch shot but that one doesn't go in, luckily for us. Now Zane once again on the ball. I'm giving him way too much space. And Meyer, he just got through so easily. Terrible defending from me. Uh, no, not really blaming my players. That was just terrible from me. I have to say, I was rushing out way too fast. And Schalke actually got another chance in the 72nd minute to win that match. After that, nothing happened. This game will be ending 3-3. It's a draw and it's an away game. It's a high scoring draw. So that's kind of an advantage for us because we only have to get like at least a 1-1 or 2-2 draw against Schalke and we will be through or a 0-0 will obviously be enough as well because we scored a lot of away goals. Currently, we have 8 points advantage uh, against Juventus, but they do have one game more than us. And this game was a game that I really wanted to win as well. Napoli is a really strong team with two great strikers up front and really good players who can make assists. As you could see, Hamsik was at the top of the assist list, so I knew Napoli wouldn't be an easy opponent and I actually felt like they would be better than AS Roma. So, I had to focus a lot for this match. You can see Higuain, Insigne, Hamsik. Sig Vargas, Inler, Lopez, a lot of good players in this team. So let's go forward and show them that our team has more quality. It started off with Higuain on the header and that is a great chance for them in the 18th minute. Now Insigne is losing the ball. Douglas Costa getting it. Poli with a pass to Pastore. Pastore with an eye for El Shalavi. He's through 1-1 one -one and he also scores. Keita scored but El Shalavi can do it as well. What a great start to this game. It is the 33rd minute, so it's still kind of early on. 
It's actually not too early, but come on. That's the 1-0 for AC Milan. Now, Napoli trying to get one back at this moment. 38th minute. They are getting another great pass inside. And Higuain hits the crossbar. That, that was offside. So, no worries. If they would have scored, it would have been offside. Now, it was time to make some changes. Mastor, Keita, and Yang joining into this game to go forward and score that second goal that I really need. As you guys might know, I'm not that kind of a person who goes uh, park the bus in these matches early on. I only do that in like the 85th minute or something like that. But right now, I'm still going full on offense and I want to score the second goal in order to secure this win. Now it's a pass over to Aubameyang. But the goalkeeper making a great save there. But we do get a lot of counter-attack chances here. Keita now passing it over to Aubameyang. And it is Niang at the bottom waiting for the pass. He gets it. But what a save from the goalkeeper. Actually, that was a really shit shot as well. So we are getting a corner kick right now in the 85th minute. And you guys know, I haven't been able to score any corner kick goals in any of my career modes so far. But now, this deflection will land in front of Keita again. This boy is scoring and it's his second goal in this episode. El Shadavi, mate, you have to go ahead and show a better performance. I have to say, El Shadavi is still my favorite, but Keita... He's getting closer, my friend. He is getting closer. Napoli had a chance in the 90th minute, but luckily they were not able to score that. And that will be the end of this match. 2-0 for AC Milan against Napoli, which is a really nice result considering that we were playing away. And I'm really happy with that. Let's move forward into the league table. 61 points for Milan. Juventus on 53 points. So there is 8 points between us. Inter on 47, so it's basically just a fight between Juventus and Milan. Our next opponent, though, is Udinese, and then we have to play against Napoli like two or three days after that in the cup semi finals. The first match ended 2 2, so we have to go ahead and get a win. And that was actually a 2 2 at our home ground, so we will be playing away against them once again. You guys could see in the league, we have done it, we have won against them. 2-0 and then we have one against Udinese actually with a goal of Pele no it's not the Pele you think of it's not the 95 rated one it's the 71 rated Pele from AC Milan he was actually on loan at first but now he's back and he was scoring a goal against Udinese and we have to play against Napoli like I said and I'm really looking forward to that match because we have gotten a really decent result against them already just a few days before the cup match and hopefully we'll be able to repeat the same again and also in the squad report you guys can see that Mastor has grown to a 74 rating now and also Niang has grown same with Gabriel he's now 74 rated grew by plus three already he's only 23 years old he seems to be a great goalkeeper for the future I think he has been glitched because he was loaned out at the start of this career mode I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry today I do not have an assistant coaches showcase because I have to go out right now. Take care assistant coaches and peace.